DPLS stock, Dark Pulse Inc. It closed the session of the 17th of August 2021 at $0.1229, a gain of 9.76%. 63 million shares crossed the tape during that session. We have a position in Dark Pulse, so it's important that we indicate that. We have uh, shares outstanding of 4.698 billion shares. $592.4 million is the market cap. So what we're looking at here is a stock that is uh, gradually rallying um, of late. And there is a news out there and it is this disclosure from the company. It's a form eight disclosure. Here the, the CEO of the company discussed uh, quarterly highlights and anticipated revenues. So Amongst other things he discussed there is the significant ac accomplishments of 2021 okay, and expand the market presence in 2022. They hope to build a cloud-based backend solution which will allow customers a customer graphic user interface to be utilized anywhere in the world on any device in real time. Okay, so going on momentum on the financial front, so they are pleased to announce that we they expect revenue in late, in late uh, Q3 2021. This in part is related to the acquisition of Optilan, a company focused on advanced systems and services re resilience and high performance solutions, which is not reflected in the company's latest Q2 uh, uh, 10Q filing on August 16th. So they expect 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 the uh, latter half of 2021 to be better in terms of achieving revenue, with significant contract wins expected in Q4 2021. Okay, they they uh, hope to continue to expand their efforts in industrial controls and structural health monitoring applications, including cloud-based graphic uh, graphic interface services thereby providing a device, a device and well-balanced customer customer base with significant technology services. Okay, so that is what they're expecting. They're expecting revenues to uh, come in by this by the this coming quarter and probably all, uh, onwards. So that is what is going on. That's, that was the news. There was also some news uh, earlier on. That, that was when they filed that uh, um, NN's outcomes, I believe. So what we're looking at right here is that it appears to be in a strong bullish trend. It's 200 day moving average is upward sloping and the MACD histogram is above zero and rising. It's also outperforming the S&P 500. So momentum as measured by 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is waning. This means that investors are less aggressive in recent purchases and may even be taking profits in positions but at lower prices. That is, that's interesting. When momentum is waning, but the stock is extending. That is um, okay. Let's let's go on. Uh, today's volume was lighter than usual. Okay, this is in unison with the momentum trading 62.99 million shares versus an average of 158 million 158.188 million shares per day during the last 12 months. The unbalanced volume indicator shows that uh, longer term accumulation has given way to near term selling pressure by traders. The 10 day volatility stands at 503.39%. That's uh, that's quite good. Um, um, you may be wondering why I'm saying that. So we had it had this rally on on very low volume. That's good. You know, that's what it's, it simply means is that uh, market participants probably didn't uh, weren't aware of uh, what was going on. So there's a good chance they may return in the su in subsequent sessions. You know, so moving on, we can see some of the data we have here. We have been able to crunch some data. We have, you know, can see that it's currently the 10 day one standard deviation range is uh, zero with this. So is it trading within that one standard deviation range? One, two, two, nine. Let's have a look. One, two, two, nine. Yes, it is not trading within that range. It is trading below that range, but uh, yes, for that one 10 day it's not trading so it's a good chance there's you know there's still headroom for it to go so it's still even even though it is strongly bullish you can still see that uh, the fact that it retraced uh, for some sessions ago um, means that it, ha it still has um, I mean evidently can evidently see that you can see that 
it still has a lot more room to go further so that um, is just a validation of what we are, we're seeing on the, on the chart so it has it pulled back for, uh, for some time and uh, based on the 10, 10 day uh, one standard deviation range it still has some more room to go it's not uh, that expensive as such you know so for the 20 day okay yes it's trading within that range so in that case okay it's you know within that range for the 50 day it's also um, not even within that range it's not that within that range is for the 20 day it's actually indicating that it is actually um, uh, not outside that range not within that range outside it uh, just slightly above it you know start below it yes that is trading below the 50, 50 the 50 day one standard deviation range so that's interesting enough you know so the the intermediate range is also validating the fact that um, yes it is still somewhat cheap as, as a matter of fact you know so for for it to extend further uh, we have a, a 0 0.5 probability of a further upward move on the 10 day data but also a 0 0.5 probability of a downward move at, at the same time as well then for the 20 day data there's a 0 0.55 probability of a further move and a 0 0.45 probability of a downward move so i think all in all it's things are looking positive for dpls so in the coming sessions based on those probabilities there's a good chance the stock will continue to move up, up upwards and especially also because we had a lighter volume momentum was low and the participation was not as much you know there's a good chance man, they will market participants will come in and uh, join in this uh, bullish signal that has uh, emanated as a result of other things it could just be the positive news and all that stuff you know so that's really positive for the, that pulse inc um, even though the rsi is not as strong it's just above 50 at least you know which not not exactly at 70 or more but um, all the other signals are indicating yes that um, um, yeah you know it's either slightly cheaper and also indicating that um, yes some people some market participants will come in and uh, join in the uh, in the good news and uh, probably move it up upwards okay so um, it's a still a penny stock and if you strongly believe in what the company is doing you think the fundamentals are right you know by all means uh, pick up um, some pick up more and uh, see how it goes from, from there okay so uh, thank you very much for watching this video